Hi, this video is about how to get Azure OpenAI API key. First, we will go through how to create a Azure subscription and then how to create a Azure OpenAI resource. And then we will look onto how to get the key extracted from the Azure OpenAI resource. So this is what we are trying to do here. So first, let's go to Azure portal. I'm just navigating to the portal. The URL is portal.azure.co. And it asks for the logging into your Microsoft account. If you have a Microsoft account, use it. Or else you can create one Microsoft account and use it. So here I'm entering my credentials. I have logged into the portal. Um, in your case, you might see a different user interface because you might not have a subscription. If you don't have a subscription active, you will see a similar screen. Now you can see subscriptions listed here. You can either click on here or you can click on the start option and navigate it. Either way, you will be going to the same page for creating a subscription. So in this case, I'm, as I already have a subscription, I'm clicking it here. If you don't have also, you will have a subscription tab there. You can click on that and it will be navigated to <coughs> the list of subscription. If you don't have any, you will see it as empty and click on add and it will be giving you the different subscriptions which could be available. And if you are using it for the first time, you will be having this free trial option enabled as I am not a, the first time user, I am not having this offer. Uh, you will be having the same or similar user interface for the next step also if you click on this select offer now as i am a returning user i am just going with the pay as you go i am clicking on the select offer there are other offers which is applicable for you but in my case i'm going with pay as you go and here it will be asking for us to enter the payment info billing info related things Now there is the IAKD button. The next thing is the payment information. My credit card details, it needs to be entered. Yeah. And I've already entered the subscription details and giving yeah. the address details. And I'm clicking on next. And it is asking for whether we should go for any additional add-on supports i'm just keeping it no technical support and clicking on sign up it is just giving me a prompt to protect my account okay i'm just navigating it to the next stage and now we have successfully created a subscription yeah. it will take say one to two minutes to complete the process Now we can see the screen for getting started with our show. Now we don't want to go through the getting started processes. I'm navigating back to home. We have successfully created a subscription. Now our next step is to create an open a resource. For that, we can click on this button to create a new resource. We need to search for Azure Open A. And from the marketplace, you can see it being listed. From this list, I'm clicking on Azure OpenAI from this marketplace list and click on create Azure OpenAI. Now you can see the subscriptions listed here. Uh, 
in our case we have clicked on pay as you go and i'm selecting the pay as you go plan and i am clicking on create a new resource group resource group is something like uh, a folder for the resources that we create on azure open AI. it's ma majorly used for identifying or collaborating the Azure Open Air Resources of a particular project into one folder. You can think about resource group as a folder. Just giving a name, test RG. And next option is like region. Um, here you have Istio selected. Uh, you should be aware that some of the models are available in only some locations and some of the features like assistant api is only available in some locations so you should be looking on to uh, the supporting regions before creating the resource uh, as per the requirement so let me create something like test pj2 pricing tier we can select standard Now, let me select next. Clicking on next, if you have need any network, we can sit the, we can keep it there. And if you have some tags to be added, tags are used for identifying the resources, projects associated with the project the resources or any other information. For our case, we don't need any tags. I'm just clicking on review and submit and then click on create it takes some time to create the resource and uh, now the resource is successfully created so we have created the subscription Second, we have created the Azure OpenAI resource. Now you can click on go to resource. And you can see the resource group created inside that the resource which is already created. Now you can go to resource manage in the left pane, expand this. You can see key sign in point, click on this. And here you can see the keys. This is the key. For showing the keys, I can click on this one and show the keys, and you can copy it by copying this. This is how we get the OpenAI Azure OpenAI key, and this is the endpoint of the Azure OpenAI resource. Hope we covered what we are planned for this video. If you need to go to this resource again, you can go to home. You can search for the resource here, or you can go to all resources and find it out, or you can go to resource group and find it out. You know, resource group, we have created the resource group named test RG, and we can go to that resource group and you can see the resource here. Or you can go to, it might be in the reason, or you can see it under all resources. Okay, there are these there are the multiple ways where we can find the resource. So by clicking on this, you will be got to this portal and you can expand resource management inside keys. You can get the Azure Open A key and endpoint. That's it.